This CES 2015 coverage for libraries is brought to you by SpringShare, the makers of LibApps, the library success platform. So today is the first day of the exhibit floor opening up, and I am on my way to the Sands Expo uh, area, which is one of about three different exhibit floor areas that, uh, that make up CES. So because of the way that CES splits up their exhibits, uh, today I am focusing on 3D printers. I expect to see a lot of 3D printers. Here are all my favorites. Libraries, I am here at the Cine CNC booth, uh, 3D printing booth. You get a little wide angle shot of their new uh, smaller Delta printer called the Eris. And I am here with John Olufsen who is going to give us a little tour of the new kind of entry-level Delta printer that they've got running now. All right, so we're here today at CES. Uh, on, we're releasing for the first time our Aris Delta 3D printer. We've been talking about it on our forums and in our Facebook and social media posts. And some little teaser pictures here and there, but this is the first time we've actually got it together and printing. Um, the Aris is going to be an all-assembled, ready-to-go, entry-level desktop 3D printer in the Delta style that it's five ninety nine. Features uh, PLA, P glass, and the flexible materials are really well suited for this style of machine. It's nice and small. It has a five inch round by six inch tall build volume. Um, we have it set up right now, running on a Mac with Matter Control software. We have a special release of Matter Control just for the Aris, a little simplified version. Gets users going a little easier than the, the full blown, full featured software. But really easy, you can flip right into the expert mode. As you grow with the 3D printer, the software can grow with you. So here's another look at my uh, second favorite of the available 3D printers right now, the Ultimaker line. Uh, those are all three of them together, and that's a close-up of the Ultimaker Mini that is, uh, that is coming out. And then there's the large Ultimaker, the Ultimaker Extended. Finally, this is my recommendation for libraries that are just looking into getting into 3D printing. This is the Lulzbot Mini. Uh, Lulzbot makes rock solid printers that are open hardware, easy to repair, easy to use. Uh, this new mini version is going to be a hot seller. It's $1,350, but I think it's worth uh, much more than that in the uh, abilities it has. And uh, here's some just quick shots of different kind of 3D printing. This is stereolithographic 3D printing. This is not something that many libraries have in place just yet, but uh, it's kind of a up-and-coming technology. There were many more companies that were producing these printers here at CES this year than previous years. Um, I'll have a rundown of those in the notes that go along with this video, but it's a, a really amazing uh, technology it actually gives you far far finer far more refined results than the typical printing methods that libraries use the fused deposition modeling the build areas are smaller but that's okay and lastly my uh, kind of up-and-coming printer that I thought was really really interesting the voxel 8 uh, the voxel 8 is a printer that integrates the ability to print with silver conductive ink along with plastic structure so you can actually print circuits integrated in three dimensions within the 3D plastic structure that you build. Uh, really, really interesting technology. I can't wait to see where this goes.